Round 22 in the VFL. It was a big day for both Port Melbourne and Box Hill. David Rhys Jones was in the expert comments chair. Rhys, we've seen a couple of great finals matches between these sides over recent years, and this had the feel of a final. It was a terrific contest. Yeah, look, you've got one team going for get through the season undefeated, and the other team fighting for a, a spot in the eight. And uh, and Box Hill played like a team that uh, were playing for a spot in the eight. They come out really hard, worked very hard, and 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 the chasing and tackling, which was. Uh, non-existent last week against Williamstown was right there. They were terrific today. And you sort of expected that that was going to happen because of the fact that they were embarrassed the previous week and their attitude, uh, their tackling in particular in the first quarter, 32 tackles to 16. I'm not sure they laid 32 tackles in the match last week. No, they didn't. They, uh, they played the bruise free football last week, but they really come out hard and, and attack Port Melbourne. And that would give a lot of hope uh, to the other teams coming up against Port in the finals because they, they'll look at the this match and they'll say, you know, they're vulnerable. Even though they're unbeaten throughout the course of the year, they've got some uh, signs there that they can be taken, you know, the match can be taken to them. Box Hill led by 14 at quarter time. They led by 14 at half time as well. No goals in the second quarter. Normally you'd sit back and say, well, that was rubbish. I really enjoyed the second quarter. I thought it was a terrific contest. It was just a great contest. And, uh, you know, for both teams to just kick three points each in the quarter, but just every single contested ball was... You know, the guys threw their body in on the line and uh, were doing anything for their team. Box Hill gave up three goals from 50-metre penalties and that turned out to cost them dearly when you consider they lost by 20. Well, they were dumb 50-metre penalties too. I mean, players taking a mark, you just can't touch a player who takes a mark. And, and that's what happened on three occasions and, uh, you know, they paid the price in the end. A very important turnover there. Ben, ben Stratton coming back into the team gave it up. Port just ran over the top of them. We've got to keep in mind, though, that Box Hill was down to one man on the bench and that certainly affected their prospects in the last quarter. Yeah, it really did. Their, their midfielders were going up and down the one spot at, at the end of the game and uh, you just you need your, you need to rotate your players these days to uh, to get the result. Well, what now for Port? 18 in a row. They've done it for the first time in the VFL since 1957, but the big game starts next week. It really does. I mean, the finals start and uh, that's when the business end of the season is and uh, Look, let's hope Paul can go all the way. They, they're a thoroughly deserved and favourite going into the final series. Looking for their first premiership since way back in 1982. Port undefeated throughout the home and away year, 14 11 95, over a gallant Box Hill Hawks lineup, 11 9 75. The final margin, 20 points. Reason yet again for Port to celebrate.